Hello, this is David Mandel. Welcome to CIS 240L Linux Installation and Configuration, um, which is a class given by me at uh, Portland Community College. Um, well, we're winding down the class here. This is really the last chapter uh, with any content. And then we'll have finals week, but uh, we won't do much for finals week. Um, in any case, let's start out by discussing um, where we are with our labs. Um, I think most people have gotten lab 10 in by now. Uh, if not, do get that in. And remember, it is really important to get in your labs in this class or to get all your work in. I grade very hard on people who do not turn in um, any of their work. To get an A, you have to have absolutely everything. And to get a B, you have to have at most one missing assignment. Um, so get things in, even if they're late. OK. Uh, next. Um, let's discuss Lab 12 a little bit. Lab 12 is to go to an open source event and report on it. I have given you an out if you're living in Burns, Oregon, and you don't have a local uh, Linux users group, or worse yet, maybe Grass Valley, Oregon. Um, <coughs> you can get by, well, actually tell me that, um, but or if you're just really shy or have some sort of handicap or something, you can, uh, in lieu of going to an open source event, you can watch a couple podcasts um, from places like Floss Weekly, Linux Action Show, Linux Outlaws, or other good places that you can find on the internet. Um, I'm a little biased towards Floss Weekly because it's uh, generally hosted by Randall Swartz, who's a friend of mine, and I can verify for its quality. The other podcast I'm not quite as familiar with. I probably watch one from time to time, but uh, um, but uh, that, that's about it. Uh, Linux Action Show should be pretty good. I did go to a, uh, a talk by the people that put on Linux Action Show about a year ago, and they gave a very, very good talk on the technology uh, that they use for putting their show together. And, um, and I think it is a good show. It's very well known. Um, however, I really do strongly recommend that you actually attend an open source event. Or one person gave me the alternative of interviewing an open source person. That's quite OK, too. Um, or, um, um, or going down and uh, checking with Free Geek, um, seeing what it would take to be a volunteer at Free Geek. Uh, that's if you're in Portland or one of the other cities that have a Free Geek. And Eugene has something similar to Free Geek. It's not called Free Geek, and I'm afraid I can't remember the name of it. Um, but, but, but that would be quite OK, too. What I really, really do prefer, though, is that you do something that takes personal contact as opposed to a podcast, which does not take personal contact. One of the reasons for this is, um, well, there's several reasons for this. One of them is just simply, if you want a job in the field, um, the best way to get jobs is to know people and to know the right people. And it's not like you're getting to know people to, to get a job. It's like you're getting to know people to become part of the community. And you know, people who go out and look for jobs don't get jobs. People who become part of the right community, jobs kind of fall in their lap. So I guess what I'm saying, it's a long, drug out process. It's really tough if you're on unemployment or you're, you know, you desperately need a job. And you do whatever you can to get a job. But to get a good job in the open source field or any other field, you kind of become part of the community. And then things just appear. Um, um, and the way you get to be part of the community is you got to talk to people and get to know people. And, and it's not like 
it's not this artificial stuff of trying to make contacts and trying to do networking and 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 stuff artificial. It's more like going down and having beer with a few friends. Uh, you, once you become part of the community, you know it's it's not this drag of 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 uh, trying to shake you know shake babies' hands and make you know it's not like being a politician. Of course, maybe being a politician isn't like being a politician for politicians, but it is for me. But you know, but what I'm saying is get involved in the open source community. It's a great community to be a part of. It's it's a great way to help to help people to help um, uh, to help businesses to help uh, uh, people to you know it's a great community um, and and getting involved in it will actually lead to places. I mean my friends do quite okay and uh, as do I and and. Uh, and it is a matter of being involved in the community. So um, that's why I gave you this last assignment. And I really, really would like you to actually go to an event as opposed to taking the, the easy, out, out, easy way out and doing a podcast. OK, next thing that, la that I want to discuss is Coursey. I have um, sent out the, I've clicked on the little buttons that are supposed to send out emails to send class evaluation forms to all of you. I really would appreciate if you would do the uh, class evaluations because um, it really is helpful for me. It's helpful for my supervisors. Um, but I also take these very seriously, especially not as much the ratings, which I like to have, but but the uh, comments that you make because those really do affect the way I give courses, uh, give my classes in the future. So and I read those in great detail. Also, for your information, I don't actually get to see those until like three or four days after I've turned in my grades. So they certainly would not have ever affect anyone's grades. Um, furthermore, it would be unethical to do that. So. It won't happen. OK, we're going to go on then. And um, I'm going to end this video. And we'll start up by starting about talking about the last chapter, which is chapter 14. And then after that, we're going to talk about the missing chapter, which is stuff I think should be in the book that isn't in the book. And mostly that's on um, the ethics of being a computer systems administrator. OK, bye-bye for now.